Hey guys, my name is Sanjay and welcome to the Engineer Wannabe YouTube channel. Apologies that I'm not behind the camera for this intro. Um, not as presentable as normal, been a really long week. And um, I'm running out of time to film this guy. So <laughs> we're, we're cutting to the chase, so to speak. But this guy is the fabulous Moser Endeavor Perpetual Calendar reference number 1341-0300, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> um, very lovely piece, a piece that was lent in again by my dear friend Marcus. Uh, thank you, Marcus, again for lending another watch. And I appreciate your generosity. Uh, it, is, uh, it is definitely not lost on me. <laughs> but uh, before we get started, quick wristwatch check. I am wearing my Grand Seiko SBGW 295 on a Seiko crocodile with a Seiko deployant. One more thing, you are infinitely valuable. I hope you know that. And I hope you know that a great price has been paid for you. Uh, you are precious, you are worth it. Um, if you wanna know uh, what any of that means, there should be a link in the description. But let's go ahead and review this watch. So, like I mentioned, this is the Moser Perpetual Calendar. It has the, the anthracite uh, dial, sunburst dial. It's very, very beautiful, very striking. Um, but I really want to talk about the dimensions here. So let's let's talk about that because uh, there's a lot going on here. I know dimension sounds really boring, right? But <laughs> uh, there's, there's something else going on here. So 41 uh, millimeter diameter, lug to lug is 49 uh, thickness is complicated let me let me get back to that one um and lug width is 20. Uh, but let's let's say at the at the thinnest point uh, this is gonna that's kind of a spoiler but you're actually watching the video anyways <laughs> at, at its thinnest point which is right in the middle it is 15 and a half millimeters and at its thicker points it's 17 and a half millimeters but that kind of uh, uh betrays this watch because this watch wears really well um, also I should mention the weight is 150 grams because this is in platinum uh, un unbelievable weight it feels um, it feels unreally heavy uh, I've I've handled a few precious metal watches but not not many have felt this dense so I'm sure uh, a lot of that has to do with the uh, movement as well the movement is the hmc 341 perpetual calendar system but let, let's go back <clears throat> excuse me let's go back to those dimensions right so this watch itself uh is concave and so the reason it wears really well is it 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 melds or it, it molds onto your wrist it just it just hugs your wrist and it it does it does not move around it is planted onto your wrist yeah my wrist is 16 and uh, 16 centimeters in circumference um and it it does not budge despite the weight the majority of the weight uh being on the the head of the watch it does not budge. Uh, you can see that there's a curved sapphire. Un un this is just unreal. Can, can you see this? <laughs> uh, curved sapphire on the underside of the on the case, the display case back, and it it just looks like your eyes are playing tricks on you. And it it gets better. Like uh, let me let me draw your attention to to this side. Like uh, the bezel is thicker on this side, but the bezel is thicker on either side, um, and and the whole watch is, it feels like it literally melted onto your wrist. It feels like this watch was made out of chocolate and you were out on a hot day and it melted onto your wrist and it became a part of you. It is such an incredible watch. I did not expect to love this watch as much as I did. This is next level. I don't usually talk like that. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, and, and okay, we haven't even talked about the intricacies of the case. Have you, have, look at these, uh, they're like dimples on the side of the case. Um, very, very beautiful, incredible high polishing. I believe it's some, some kind of uh, Moser Endeavor signature. I should also mention um, that I am completely, completely out of my element here. I'm completely unworthy to talk about this watch um, because I know so little. Um, and... Um, 
I, I, I just want you to know that. <laughs> but I, I believe this is a, a Moser Endeavor signature uh, design. And you can see the lugs go way past the case back. Um, and it follows this curvature. It's so well well designed. It is so well designed. Um, and of course you have a platinum deployment here with a kudu strap and uh, lug width. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's 20 millimeters. So this watch is just you know, unreal, unreally comfortable. And it does not feel like it's 15 and a half to 17 and a half millimeters thick. Ah, oh, we haven't even talked about the movement. It is so, so such a cool watch. I, I just want to take another moment to, to would you look at this? Like, look at that bezel. It's, you know, the, the Salvador Dali uh, painting. I think there's a Salvador Dali painting of like the melted clock. And, and you get that in wall clocks and stuff like that. This is like the more beautiful version of that. This is just like a well-worn pair of shoes, you know? Um, it's so good. Marcus, you know you know what you're doing. <laughs> Let's talk a bit about this movement. This is a perpetual calendar movement. It is a foolproof perpetual calendar movement. Um, I'm not going to change the calendar. Uh, but just so you know, you have a little nub of a hand there at... Um, well, it's now pointing to uh, four o'clock, which means it is the fourth month of the year. You've got a large date. It's not a big date complication. A big date complication has two wheels for each um, um, numeral of the of the date. Uh, but this is a, a large date, I guess, and uh, it really draws attention to itself. It's it's very nice, uh, very nicely chamfered date window there. And you've got a power reserve indicator as well. So a uh, bit bizarre because Moser is going for something very clean and the, the power reserve indicator kind of throws that off. I, I do like asymmetry and I like um, I like weirdness. So I, I enjoy that, but I can see that being a sticking point for a few people because they just, um, it, it's a really bizarre thing for Moser to do, at least uh, from, from an outsider's perspective. I would have thought Moser would have kept that clean. And just like the leap year indicator, because this is a perpetual calendar, the leap year indicator is in the back here, as you can see, uh, one, two, three, and then leap. And it is a foolproof, I, I had already mentioned that, foolproof um, setting method. You pull this crown out to the first position. You can set the date forward or backwards. First time setting a date, uh, say if it's like January 1st and this watch hasn't been worn for uh, eight months, it, it'll be, well, eight months wouldn't be too bad, but uh, well, let's say six months. It'll be a little annoying scrolling through the um, the dates, getting this um, month indicator to January, which would be one. Uh, but other than that, it is foolproof because you can go backwards and forwards. Um, and uh, set the date. And to set the leap year, you've got a little pusher here. You can use a toothpick or, or something of the like to change whether it's a leap year or not. And uh, that's it. That's that's it for a perpetual calendar. It is so clean, uh, so well engineered. <laughs> uh, a Moser going with that minimalist uh, minimalistic aesthetic with a perpetual calendar and, and knocking it out of the park. Uh, I think it's so well done. Every time, every time I picked up this watch, I've noticed something wildly different. Um, I noticed that concave case back uh, very, very early on, but then I noticed that bezel, the the bleeding look of the bezel, and then I noticed that uh, you know there was more going on with this concave case back, and that's just, it's just so cool. I don't think there's a better word for it except uh, extremely cool. Those are two words, but uh, very cool. That's two words too. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed uh, spending some time with this watch. Thank you again, Marcus. Guys, let me know what you think of this watch. Uh, this was a result of, uh, of a poll that I put on uh, on the community tab. Uh, and, and you guys really wanted to see this piece. So here you go. Please, please pick the... Uh, Cartier Santos next. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care, everyone. Uh, remember, you're infinitely valuable. You're precious. And you're worth it. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.